Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Rag Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. Welcome to the Weekly Wonderings. We read five energies weekly. The five energies that we read on are body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. This is for the week of November 6th through the 12th, a very eventful week. It is the, um, the United States election. It is the eclipse, which I think coincide. And, and actually, all those things coincide with my birthday. Yes, Jeffrey gets another birthday on the 7th. On the 7th. And I'm going to be 21. I can't believe it. Yes. Um, you had a pretty rough teen years, kids. I hate oh, that. Unbelievable. <laughs> so uh, please, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Please become members of our respective channels. We both offer physical goods in the physical world. Nancy Jean has uh, grids and gardens and uh, eggs. eggs. And I, um, we both offer readings, by the way, mm -hmm. below on our respective sites. And uh, I am a textile designer and make handmade t-shirts, handmade silk scarves, handmade uh, silk pocket squares. And the sale uh, that I'm having currently is ending on November 10th. So I think we've done our marketing. Mm -hmm. And Nancy already threw the stones. No, I, I didn't. I just threw them out just to get them warmed up because they've been in a bag. They've been see, in a I'm bag together. The thing that I don't even realize. Okay. So I didn't Looks a lot like before. No, okay. Okay. Body, mind, spirit. Okay. Um, that was it's interesting for the eclipse. <laughs> right? Yep. So something is ending and something new is beginning. Uh-huh. But it's this is also a real benefic. This is a real benefic card because um this, she's really Jupiter. She's really Jupiter. She, she, so mm -hmm. whatever has ended is really ended like a, in all ways. And whatever is beginning is really beginning in all ways. The other thing I always feel about the world, because, well, it's we're in Scorpio season and Scorpio shows up, you know, all the signs show up in, in these cards in, in the world. So whenever it shows up for like a fixed sign, I feel like it's a double energy. And the thing is, it, because it's a fixed sign, it's like this is a permanent change. Like this is a permanent ending. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. okay, so body mind mind has there's a lot of subconscious stuff going on you know it's like what can i build who can i build it with um you know how can i build my spiritual life um you know there's this energy but i feel like it's still kind of working because i whenever i feel i see this card because then they're in the dark I always mm -hmm. feel like, you know, it's sort of subconscious. It's not really quite formed yet. It's like an inkling. It's like, oh, well, I thought of that last week and now it came up again kind of thing. Mm -hmm. right? Body, mind, spirit says, you know, you have the knowledge of how to be secure. You know how to make money. Mm -hmm. You know how to spend your time. You know how to take care of your health. Mm -hmm. you know, you like you have all this information on the inside and maybe that's what the subconscious is the subconscious is sort of saying you know how to do all this stuff you have the experience and now it's time to like you know do it yeah do it and like you know organize it do it etc body mind spirit grounding I think the election is going to go well. <laughs> uh, it's amazing how saying, close we are on the stones and what you're saying. Yeah. So grounding is like the fairy tale come true. You know, the promise and the emotional fulfillment coming to pass. Mm -hmm. Lovely card. Because I always, you know, I always see this card. It's like not only are they having their perfect little life and their children are like well behaved, but like they never have to fix the roof. And... And, and the, the lawn mows itself. Great. The lawn mows it's, itself. <laughs> it's just exactly, exactly. They only attract butterflies. No, <laughs> no flies. <laughs> Body, my spirit, grounding. And then clarity is like, yeah. You know what I like about, well, all the pages have this energy of youth and enthusiasm. 
And, but hey, it's like, because they're young and they don't have experience. So it's it, like in their head, it's like, there's no reason it wouldn't work. It doesn't even enter their consciousness that it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like luck is on your side in a way. Because I always feel like he's building an oasis in the desert. Right. And he actually manages to build the oasis in the desert. Somehow, whether he knew it or not, he planted the, the plants and, you know, by the aquifer that he wasn't right. even, you know, and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, I did it. Yeah, great. There's like that energy. So overall, it's a really optimistic and positive week. Yay. Yay, it is. It's wonderful. I'm going to start with the mind, which it, I always, if they're further out, I start with them. It's between the sacral chakra and the past, which means both influences are being felt in your mind. And your mind is being aligned with a great deal of creativity. And in for the past, it's really good for where we are. It says, break from previous patterns and learn from this new experience. Mm -hmm. So that, that looks really good. Then I'm going to start here in Earth. Our spirit is in Earth. And when it's in Earth, it means that it's transforming right now, but not, it's not yet finished. If you don't know about the four elements, Earth is where things grow from. Water is what helps wash them away and nourish them. Fire is the past, and it's the passion, and it's the things that, that motivate us and move us forward. And air is pure thought. So this is where our intellect and our imagination comes in. So our spirit is in Earth. It's growing right now, and it's transforming, but it's not yet finished, which to me means I don't think What's going to be finished with this election is going to, obviously not with how they've dragged the last one on for two years, but I think the counting is going to go on for a while, but it's all going to be to the good. So just don't freak when you see that happening. Um, when the body is in fire, it means we're embodying our past. We're understanding it. We're looking at it, but we're bringing it in. We're not ignoring it. We're not hiding from it. We're dealing with it. And so that leaves the two things that are the energy that's flowing out and moving out and moving then around the whole board. And I'm going to go to clarity first because it's only in water. And when your clarity is in water, it says you have the clarity you need. Follow the path that will force you into resolving and facing new situations. So I think that means we're going to see a real sea change. And then we have... Um, we, we're going to have uh, those values, pyrite, the grounding, is in water. And I love this one in water. Grounding changes are settling into long-term patterns. And go for it means all is aligned with your values. So that's just like what you saw. So it's really an incredible, there are ways to get less than entirely positive reactions from the board, like you're stuck in the mud, <laughs> This is not, this is all moving forward, transformations. Good things are happening and so many things are happening at once you can't absorb it all at once. Mm -hmm. So um, happy, by the time you see this, will probably, well, if, if you tune us in on the first day, this is up. Vote, vote, vote if you haven't already. And um, we look forward to seeing you next week and happy birthday, Jeffrey. Oh, blessings.